If it's one thing we all know, it's that Rhode Islanders love Rhode Island. In fact, over 80% of people living here were born at Woman and Infants Hospital in Providence. And after 37 years, its labor and delivery center is undergoing renovations to make the process smoother, not only for the mothers and babies, but their families and nurses too. It's hard to update labor rooms because people are always using them. The delivery rooms are original to the building with its last renovations in 1986. They're much smaller than the rest of the rooms in this hospital. There's shared bathrooms, there's no natural light, and in fact the nurses station doesn't have any natural light either. Construction has started for the 20 new rooms and is projected to be completed in 2025. Every single one of them have outdoor light. Every single one of them has room for a birthing tub. They all have their own bathrooms and showers. There's more than enough room for patients to have their significant others and families in, as well as doulas if they choose to have them, as well as for all the care teams to be able to come in. A mock-up room was created to simulate exactly what the rooms would look like. So as you walk in, it's gonna be a large space. Mom's gonna be able to be here. Um, we have all the equipment that our staff have been able to play with. We have all the electronics so they can feel what the room is going to look like. But if we need to do any sort of evaluation, weighing, checking the baby out, if the baby has more critical needs when they're born because perhaps they're premature, this is what we call our giraffe warmer and this is where all of that takes place. In our current rooms, it's really hard to have these out in the room. They're actually in a separate room. The room is open 24 hours to give patients and staff the opportunity to provide feedback. We were told our toilets were too low. We were told we needed to change the placement of our sockets so that nurses didn't have to lean over. We were moved to the bathroom because the placement of it wasn't gonna meet the needs of the pediatric team. Every three months or so, we shut down the room, we rearrange the room based on the feedback we've gotten on the whiteboards, and then we have people come back in to be able to tell us whether they like the changes that we've made or not. While there isn't a full plan for what the current rooms will be used for, there are a few ideas. We do know that we do plan to build an alongside unit right next to the labor room as it is now. That'll be a no intervention unit for women who are looking to have no intervention during their labor but want to be next to a high quality labor room if they need it and or near a NICU. The campaign is projected to cost $40 million with about $25 million raised so far. We've called the campaign the campaign to deliver our future because we believe that this labor room is going to be able to provide for generations to come the high quality care that they've come to expect from women and infants. The hospital encourages members of the community to see the mock-up room, learn more, and share feedback. For more information on where you can donate to the campaign, head to roadshow.com. For The Roadshow, I'm Megan Wilgus.